Good morning. Today's lesson is 11.6. Okay, understanding volume. Our essential question today. How can you use unit cubes to find the volume of a rectangular prism? Let's investigate. Connect. You can find the volume of a rectangular prism by counting the unit cubes. Volume is the measure of amount of space a solid figure occupies and is measured in cubic units. Each unit cube has a volume of one cubic unit. The rectangle prism above is made up of, of eight unit cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They broke it apart right here. You can count it over here too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And has a volume of eight cubic units. Materials. A rectangular prism and cubic and centimeter cubes. So if you cut out and fold and tape together a rectangular prism, such as this, but we're just going to use this visual for now, um, you would use centimeter cubes to fill the base of the rectangle prism without any gaps or overlaps. Each centimeter cube has a length, width, and height of one centimeter and a volume of one, one cubic centimeter. So you can kind of see how they're doing the first layer at the bottom. How many centimeter cubes does it take to make up the length of the first layer, the width, and the height? Now, with the paper that I provided, you should have done a, a length of five, a width of five, and then we know that the height is one centimeter, right? So how many centimeter cubes to fill the base? Well, it's five times five times one. Five times five is 25 times one is 25. So this bottom layer is 25 centimeters. Now, you're going to continue filling the rectangular prism layer by layer and count the number of centimeter cubes used for each layer. So how many cubes are in each layer? Well, we just said. The first, it's 25. How many layers of the cube filled the rectangular prism? Five. So that means I did five layers of 25 going up. So how many centimeter cubes filled? Well, 25 times the five layers. Five times five is 25. Five times two is 10 plus two is 12. So 125 um, cubes filled the rectangular prism. So the volume is 125 cubic centimeters. Also written like this, centimeters cubed with the little cube at the top. Describe the relationship among the number of centimeter cubes you use to fill each layer. The number of layers, the volume of the prism. Well, the number of centimeter cubes in each layer is 25. And if you multiply that by the number of layers, which was 5, then it's equal to the total number of centimeter cubes that was used to fill the prism, 125. So the volume is 125 cubic centimeters. And again, you could write that 1, 2, 5 centimeters with a little cube on the top. Apply. If you had a rectangular prism that had the length of 3 units, the width of 4 units, and the height of 2 units, how many unit cubes would you need for each layer? How many unit cubes would you need to fill the rectangular prism? Well, you would need 12 units for each layer, because 4 times 3 is 12, so that's going to be my bottom layer. And if it's two layers, then you would get 24 cubic units, because 12 times 2 is 24. Because remember, you're doing three dimensions. So you have this times the height, times the width, right? To find the volume of three-dimensional figures, you need to measure it in three different directions. For a rectangular prism, you measure its length, its width, and its height. Volume is measured in cubic units, such as cubic centimeters, cubic inches, or cubic feet. Which has a greater volume, a one cubic centimeter or one cubic inch? Well, a one cubic inch does, and the reason is one cubic inch is greater than one centimeter, or one inch is greater than one centimeter, so one cubic inch would have to have a greater volume. To find the volume of a prism, if each cube represents one cubic centimeter, one cubic inch, and one cubic feet. Well, one cubic centimeter, so let's just say these are centimeters. It's still going to be three times six, which is 18, plus two, which is 36. No matter if these are inches or centimeters or feet, I'm still going to do 2 times 3 times 6, or 3 times 6 times 2. So no matter what, I'm going to get 36 every single time. So the question down here asks, 
Would the prism above be the same size if it built with cubic, with centimeter cubes, inch cubes, or foot, foot cubes? Well, the answer to that is even though I got this, I have the same number, I'm not going to have, let me move this up. I'm not going to have the same size because the prisms, I mean, the prisms would have the same number of cubes and be the same shape. But feet is greater than inches or centimeters, and inches is greater than centimeters. So the prism made with the foot cubes would be greater than it would be made with, um, with centimeters. It's still going to be 36, but it's going to be a much larger shape. So again, this is super easy. I think you guys are going to be able to handle this, but let me do number one for you. So again, we just multiply three times four times five because I want to do four times four is going to give me this bottom layer and then I'm going to take that bottom layer and I'm going to multiply it times the three layers on the top there and it's going to give me the volume so four times four is 16 and then times the three I get 18 three and four I get 48 so the answer is 48 cubic and on this one it's centimeters and again you can write it 48 centimeters cubed either way all right, I'm going to do one more for you. Let's do number three on the homework problem. So again, it's simply multiplying these three numbers, base times height times width. So 7 times 4 is 28, and 28 times that 2, 8 and 2 is 16, 2 and 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, so I have 56 cubic, and my unit that I'm measuring is feet. Okay, if you need any help, you may work with a partner or you can see me in the front on the carpet. Good luck.